Phoenix Splash TV. In the world of video game composition, you'll often be more familiar with a composition rather than a composer. I'm sure most people know the Super Mario Bros. theme, but only a handful know that it was composed by Kanji Kondo. Now when it comes to video games, I play a lot of them, so when it comes to most video game composers, I've heard just about all of them. But then comes a suggestion of someone whom I've never heard of, and whose music who, for the most part, I've never heard before either. Enter Matoi Sakurabai. I don't really know how to pronounce his name, but I'm trying. Now, with the exception of Super Smash Bros. Melee and Tells of Symphonia, I've never really been submerged into a game with his compositions, so I'm gonna consider this a first impression. That's right, I haven't done one of these in a while. So in my first impression videos, I scoured the internet and searched the top 5 songs by the artist. So let's take a look. The Validactory Elegy. At least that's how I think you pronounce that. This song is from a game called Batten Kato's Origins and found its way into Smash Bros. 4 as a stage song somehow. The arrangement I heard is from Smash 4, which I hear is more intense than the original version. And as you might have heard, it is pretty intense. Whomever the violinist is, is just killing it. Like that all can't be one take, they probably had to switch out violins and stuff. Now this was the first song that I picked up to listen to and I have to say that the bar was raised pretty high. Overall it's a really intense classical song with a drum set and violin lead. You can tell that it's well liked seeing how the search results come up with how to unlock it in Smash 4. Overall I like this song quite a bit. A Distant Journey. Now this one is from a little well-known Sega game called Shining Force 3. Now I've played the first Shining Force, but never the third one. And now when I hear this song, I hear a style that's pretty familiar. It reminds me a lot about Nobuyo Matsu, the Final Fantasy composer. I'm not saying that just because it's a classical song, I'm saying that because of the trumpets. <laughs> That's so Oimatsu, and there's nothing wrong with that either. Overall, I like this song a lot, I think the title fits it really well. It really does sound like it's setting you up for a big adventure. Now for uh, this one, the unfinished battle with God Syndrome from Valkyrie Profile. Now, this song is from a Square Enix game called Valkyrie Profile. This song actually reminds me a bit of an old western with its trumpet lead. It also mixes 80s sounding synthesizers and a MIDI string section. It reminds me a bit of the Baton Kato song in terms of speed and style. Now, this song came out on the PlayStation, so it's worthy to note that the styles of these composers were starting to come out more. When I first heard this one, I was exercising, so it was a blast. The one complaint I do have is that the loop feels a bit too short, but that's something you have to expect with 90s video game music. So much data had to fit on those PlayStation discs, and oftentimes, that meant some of the songs had to be kind of short. Tone Assess with this one, I got a little creative and moved away from the forums and all that internet stuff. I heard that Matoy actually had somewhat of a prog rock performing band. Once I heard that, I just had to check it out. It was there I found Tone Assess, which actually reminds me a lot of Dream Theater and Yes. It's instrumental and you can tell that it's really compositional. The cool thing about this song is that it's only three people. I like the style of melody in this song, it doesn't try to be catchy or anything, it's just good and fluctuates like a breathing animal. And a lot of people think when I say it's not catchy that I'm dissing the melody, but this I actually prefer this style of melody over catchy ones. I really like this one. If you're a fan of Matoy and haven't heard his solo music, you should really give it a listen. Aww. 
Now for Nameless Song. The best song that I've heard hands down from a toy so far is a song from a game I've never played, Dark Souls. The song is titled Nameless Song. Not only does it capture loneliness extremely well, it shows Matoi's versatility as a composer. Even though I've never played Dark Souls, I can be taken away to another world just by hearing the music. There's a constant flow of slow melodies from multiple instruments. There's interesting key changes too. It's no wonder people are saying that this song is his best of all time. Usually with slow songs, it could be pretty hard to grab my attention. But this song did it and somehow outperformed the fast songs of this first impression. What's my favorite part about this song? Well, it would probably have to be the cello and the low strings. The voice is obviously the most memorable part of the song, but I just really appreciate how well written that the cello was. If you're a fan of video game music and haven't heard this one from Dark Souls, you really need to. In fact, I think I need to play this game. So, what's my overall impression? I think it's really cool that people are appreciating this type of music in this day and age. This was even suggested to me by Nahal CC. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And thanks for the suggestion. I really enjoyed listening to Matoy's work and will probably be listening to more of him in the future. Whether I want to or not, there's a good chance that just about every gamer has heard a song from this guy. From Mario Golf to anime, this composer is very busy. Sometimes he'll even compose just one song for a project. And I'm sure a composer like him has probably shadow composed at some point or another, especially if he was working for Square Enix. He's a very interesting composer, and if you haven't heard him, you should definitely check him out. I give this first impression a 4.5 out of 5. I added the extra 0.5 due to the Dark Souls song. It made a really good first impression on me. So what do you guys think of Matoi Sakurabai? Is there any other good songs from him that you think I missed out on? Leave it in the comments below. Also, if there's another artist or band that you want me to check out or talk about, leave it in the comments below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and this is Game Analyzer, signing off.